Hey. What's going on? I just picked him up on a dozen counts of identity theft. His name's Doug Judy. You ever seen him before? No. Rosa, 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 oh yeah, beautiful Rosa. I think he's into me. What do you do to these perps? Fear is a powerful aphrodisiac. Anyway, he said he wants to speak to, quote, John or Jack Peralta or whatever. What does he want with me? And should I change my name to Jack Peralta? It sounds badass. Jack Peralta, crocodile hunter. Yeah. He said he wants a deal. He has information about some dude who steals Pontiacs. Pontiacs? He knows about the Pontiac bandit. Listen to me. He specifically said he knows a guy who steals Pontiacs? Yeah, I just said that. Chill, man. Okay. Okay, sorry. Okay. <laughs> hey, Diaz. Come in here, talk to me. This dude is super horny. Yeah. I used to work at a chop shop. It was chill. Decent hours, good benefits. You could work while you were high, which I never did, because that's irresponsible. Anyway, we did a lot of work for this dude who stole Pontiacs. The Pontiac Bandit. OK. We called him Bill, but whatever. No, not whatever. The Pontiac Bandit is my nemesis. I've been chasing this guy for eight years. He's stolen hundreds of cars, all of them Pontiacs. He's never left any evidence, and he's never been caught on camera. The guy is a ghost. Super ghost. He's a super ghost. He's Before a... we go any further, I need to know if you're for real. Describe the guy. Asian dude, maybe 5'8", spiky black hair, rocks in both ears, always wears a black suit, and speaks with a British accent, like my girl Dame Judi Dench. I have impeccable taste. So would you say he looks sort of like this? That's Bill. This is a composite sketch from 10 interviews I've done. Perfect match. So all you know is what a bunch of other mopes have said over the years. Anything else? Yeah. I'm not to get in touch with him. Doug Judy! So the burner phone that Doug Judy used to contact the Pontiac Bandit is at his mom's house. He's agreed to help us catch the bandit if we drop all charges against him. How many cars would you say this Pontiac Bandit has stolen? 230 that I know of, but the real number could be in the millions. You're not very good at math. What are the charges against Judy? 12 counts of identity theft, but I've been chasing him for a month. Oh, a month? I've been trying to catch the Pontiac Bandit for eight years. You know how many months that is? 96. 80, 46 years, months. Do you need a math tutor? Because the department will provide one for you. I can't tell if you're being serious. I'm on the fence here. Diaz caught him. It's your call. Look, this guy is for real. A thousand push-ups. A thousand push-ups, really? Yes. OK. I'm in. What's a thousand push-ups? Oh, we were in the academy together, and we hated all the drills. So now when we're on a case, and one of us says a thousand push-ups, it means I'm so sure I'm right that if I'm wrong, I'll do a thousand push-ups. It's a pact we made. It really just means trust me. And I do. OK. Make the deal. Yes! I've got you now, Pontiac Bandit. Woo! Feels good to finally say that in front of actual people instead of just the mirror. All right, so we grab the burner, catch the bandit, become police legends. My mom's car's here. She's home. Got to take these cuffs off. No way. She doesn't know I'm a criminal. She thinks I own an architecture firm with all white employees. It's racist. Why stop there? Why not tell her you're an astronaut? Because space is scary. You saw what it did to Sandy Bullock. Yeah, I'm with him on this one. I'll stay on Earth, thank you very much. Yeah, what? <laughs> Come on, Rosa. We can play act with his mom for two minutes to get a lead. Fine. One false move, and I tease you in front of your mom. Ducky! Oh, my beautiful boy! Yeah. <laughs> well, shouldn't you be at work? No, I'm too busy to see my mama. Oh. Mama, this is my girlfriend, Rosa. And this is my personal assistant, Mangy Carl. Ah, it's nice to meet you. You can just call me Carl. Mangy Carl used to be a homeless gentleman. I work with a charity that finds jobs for down on the luck white people. Oh. He's just a big old angel. He's been so good to the whites. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. Yeah. Sky. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Hey, speaking of which, we should probably grab that phone, you know, so you can get back to architecturals. Yes, it's in a spare bedroom. I I'll go with you. It's a mess. Actually, we can handle it on our own, ma'am. Thank you so much. Why don't you just stay up here and chop it up with Rosa? Uh, well, that sounds nice. We can get to know each other a little. I love getting to know people. It's my jam.